So this video touched my heart and it showed me how much our youth, especially our famous artists, are in need of Jesus. Because in this video, Sean Mendes is talking about his first encounter with God and how it felt to encounter the real living God for a long time growing up an atheist. I mean, I jumped right into you know, writing songs, and then I had a really huge song when I was really young, and then somehow wrote another really huge song when I was super young, and then another one after that, and Mm. none of that was coming from a a knowing place, at least. I had no idea what was going on. It was just, like, all kind of happening. Only in the last, like, two years, I've realized, like, the real uh, power that comes that music is, and there's something so interesting because I grew up kind of more or less atheist, and now becoming much more spiritual and really being sure there's a god or sure there's a higher wow. thing and there's a the universe or whatever you like to call it music was the thing that did that for me watching maverick city choir i think they're called maverick city choir singing mm. about god singing about jesus i'm sitting there wow. watching this youtube video and singing about jesus and i just start crying like crying my eyes out and i'm like wow i'm like you know when you're crying and it's like this is like something leaving me yeah. this is like that type of cry it's like you know And I'm like, how is something that my whole life I've grown up to believe is fanatic and Mm. and, and not science and not the truth feel like home because of this song? Wow. That video is so powerful, Shawn Mendes saying that. Because the reason why I feel like when he was he was crying, you know, when he heard that song, like something was leaving him. He says that in the video that when he heard that song, something was leaving him is because he was in the presence of the Holy Spirit when that song played. He was in the presence of God. And because of that, his demons had to flee. His demons had to go away. And it made him change his view on Jesus and on God, which he says he used to think it was fanatic. He used to think that it was a lie. But when he heard that worship song, it touched him so much because the Holy Spirit lives in that song. The Holy Spirit touches us through music when we listen to music that glorifies him. That's why he felt this presence and the demons had to flee in the presence of God. And he felt like he was home because worship is a portal to home. When we're worshiping when in heaven that's that's what they do they worship god they are they are worshiping god day and night the bible says that in heaven the angels are worshiping god day and night so when we are worshiping god it's like we are home because that's what we're going to do when we go to our real home which is heaven earth is just a sta- it's just a, a place where god is testing us but heaven is our real home heaven is the goal with jesus heaven is where we want to be able to be that's where we're going to spend eternity and that's why when he heard this song he felt like he was home because something in him knew that he was meant to for the creator. He was meant to worship the living God. That's what he was born to do is to worship God. And you know, music is so powerful. And a lot of us, we don't use music the right way. We pervert music. A lot of celebrities, a lot of people wanting to be famous, they're not using music in the proper form that it was meant to be used because God created music. And he created music through him and for him and when we're doing that when we're you when we're using music for the proper use that's when we feel the most joy and the most peace with our lives and that's when we are the most um we're able to flourish properly and we don't have this depression you know and this sadness because i'm sure sean menes goes through his things that he doesn't talk about you know and when he experienced jesus it made him go from atheism to someone that actually believes in the God. And one day I was sitting here, you know, in my car and I was listening to the birds singing. And I realized that the birds never worry, you know. They live their lives day and night just just enjoy just flying and going and they don't you don't see them ever worrying, you know, they're beautiful. And I stood stood in the silence and I heard them chirping and chirping and I realized that they're worshiping God. That the earth, even if we don't do it as humans, the birds will worship God regardless. And that's why they never worry. You know, they're they're happy. <laughs> like from what you see, they just look like they're just chilling and they're beautiful to look at. And God is for them and he blesses them. And music is so powerful. And that's why I, when I saw this video, I felt so touched. And I really want to pray over Sean Mendes and his life. Um, 
So, Lord, I pray over Sean Mendes. I don't know what he's going through in his life right now, but I pray, God, that this experience of encountering you while listening to worship music will not go um, unspeaked about, Lord, that he will actually want to speak to you more, Lord, that he would want to experience that, that he will not allow, you know, any sin that in his life to keep him from you, that he would be curious about you, Lord. I pray that one day he would come out as a follower of Christ and say, yes, I believe in you, Jesus. Yes, I want you that he would make worship music, that he would worship you, God, the way you have called him to do. You gave him those gifts so that he could worship you, Jesus, and only you. So I pray for Sean Mendes' soul. I pray that one day he would come and repent and believe the gospel and believe the good news. So this video touched my heart. And this is another clip um, by this man named Ty Jackson, who I really like. Um, he talks more about the depth and the spiritual side of music. Did you know that music is extremely spiritual? Before Satan fell, he was known as a morning star. Mm. They sung. In fact, in the book of Job, we see them singing at the creation of the world. Mm. In fact, whenever you take a look at the makeup of Lucifer, he was created with musical instruments. It's believed built inside of him. So when mm. he spoke the praises of God, he didn't just simply speak the praises of God. He sung the praises of God. Mm. This is why around the throne of God, they cry, Holy Holy, holy to God Almighty. I want you to listen to this, all right? In Psalm 49, it says, listen to this, all you people. Pay attention, everyone in the world, high and low, rich and poor, listen. For my words are wise and my thoughts are filled with insight. Listen to this next part. I listen carefully to many proverbs and solve riddles with the inspiration from a harp. Wow. Solve riddles with the inspiration of a harp. If you notice also in the uh, Old Testament, whenever there was prophecy going forth, there was music being played sometimes. As wow. Well, and deliverance. Yeah. You see, there is a spiritual component to music that happens. It's like you take a rock, toss it out into the ocean, you see the ripple effect on the waves. Music does that to your brain and your spirit. It does that. And it aligns you with the spirit. That's why yeah. you have to be careful with what you listen to and the motive you listen to it in. Mm. You listen, I remember during some of my heaven experiences, I put on Paul Wilbur, took me there, literally, took me into another realm. Glory to God. You could get so deep in worship music that if you're genuinely seeking God through it, you'll pop up in another realm. Right yeah. here you see where the psalmist said that he solved uh, mysteries, wow. he solved riddles through the inspiration of a harp. That's because when you play music, certain types of music, at certain types of ways and frequencies and different things like that, it puts you on a psychological and spiritual alignment and level with the Almighty God, Yahweh, and Yeshua, His Son, if you know Jesus. Sometimes you could just be listening to music and it will still align you with Jesus. And being next thing you know, you're getting saved, you're giving your life to Him. Yeah, so let's say with Shawn Mendes. And you're digging into mysteries, put on some music, some worship music, mm. and just flow. Because when you do that, it opens you up spiritually. It opens up a portal. Yeah. Don't look at me like that when I say the word <laughs> portal. It is biblical. You take a look mm. in the book of Revelation where John said that he saw his door standing open in heaven. You look at the Greek word that's utilized there. It can translate in a portal. And a portal is not something big, deep, and wonderful. It literally means an opening or a door. Yeah. So literally, once you align with God musically, it can open up a portal or a door in your spirit so he can flow right through and point out stuff to you. Because music is extremely powerful. Mm -hmm. If you like content like this, follow for more. Click the link in my bio. Okay. I really like listening to him, Ty Jackson. He talks a lot about the spiritual world and about um, revelation. So I really like listening to him. But um, yeah, God, music is powerful because God made it powerful. God and the angels in heaven, they all they do is worship him. You know, they praise him. Look at the birds. They sing to him. They do praises to him. So music is so powerful. It is a portal to a different world, which connecting us to the almighty, the 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 high, the higher almighty, which is Jesus. And um, Jesus created music. Um, it was created by him and for him. So when we do it correctly, when we don't pervert music and do it for the real reason it was created, that's when we... 
we transform. Our lives change. You know, I don't listen to worldly music anymore. I don't listen to secular music, uh, music that talks about sex or any of that sin. I only listen to godly music. And my life has changed so much just because of something small that seems silly because I changed something that I don't listen to Drake or any of those songs. Because I changed that, my life has changed drastically where I have gotten so much closer to the God of the universe and the God to Jesus. I've gotten so close to him because of that. So I really pray for Sean Mendes that he continues to explore God. God and Jesus and doesn't allow the world to get in the way of that because the world will the music industry will definitely allow you to get in the way will get in the way of Jesus because the the music industry is run by the devil and the last thing the devil wants is for you to encounter God so you just keep that in mind guys that music is powerful it's a portal to the another world and it could be a either a portal to the kingdom of darkness or a portal to the kingdom of light which is the kingdom of Jesus there's only two kingdom kingdoms in this world the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of light and if you are in witchcraft and white magic and all of this stuff you are in the kingdom of darkness that's what the bible says it's clear it's straight up there's no sugarcoating it so let me know what you guys think about this video and i am out